baby Got me staring at you So I'm crazy Won't you bend that back for me We won't stop Got your feet both locked You get to flop with me I can take you down for a ride I take you around my life Jaywalking, crosswalking, lip locking with you Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. If you're new to my channel, you're most definitely welcome. You know the deal. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and as well hit the notification bell. So with that, you'll be notified when I have a new video on my channel. With that being said, you're my OG. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to be coming up to you with my first 2018 Thanksgiving makeup look. This makeup tutorial, I use quite of new products and i did a first impression on the video but it didn't come out well so i decided just to make a tutorial and as well something else just happened along the line when this video was recording my memory card was was full so i decided to delay some videos so i mistakenly delayed how i apply my foundation and contour a highlight so i hope i'm going to be trying to get the clips back if not i'm sorry in case if something if i couldn't do anything because sometimes i can reverse the video i delayed so yeah let's see how it's going to work out anyway other than that without any further ado if you're interested as always all the products i use is going to be listed in the description box please do go and check it out and don't forget the giveaway is coming up tomorrow so don't forget to you know to, to to be among if you want to win a free product for christmas christmas gift giveaway so yeah that's pretty much it guys and i hope i'm going to be seeing you in my next video not hope I guess I'm going to be seeing my next video. No long talking as always. Don't forget to do you. Stay pretty, stay blessed. I will see you all in my next video. Take care, love you. Ciao. Mwah. Love you. Hey guys, what's up? How you guys doing? You're doing good? Yeah. Yes. I'm going to be doing my bra straight away. So I'm going to be using the Anastasia Deep Bra Pomade in the shade Ebony. Apply the product on my bra. I do love to set it with translucent powder. I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Mercy translucent powder. So yeah. I'm just going to set my bra just a bit because I do have an oily bra with my spoolie. I'm just going to blend my eyebrow to the direction they are going to. Spoolie, which is the angle side, I'm just going to dip it into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Bra Pomade in the shade Ebony. Be careful with this product because it has a lot of pigment. So I'm just going to start from the bottom. I'm going to trace the shape of my eyebrow. As you can tell, the other of my eyebrow is not really into place like the other one. They are not twins, they are just sister, okay? So you I'm crazy. Watch your bend that back. To go ahead and use the NYX cake powder. I'm just going to fill in the empty space. I'm going to be using this shade because this one is a bit too light. So I'm going to be taking this shade right here. And I'm using the same brush to fill in as well. I can't remember the last time I did my brown camera like I just decided to do it today because why not to save the time for the video as well because it's time you used to apply your eyebrow for off camera with that time you can also use it to apply it on camera just that sometimes it takes long or you make a mistake you don't want everybody to see that so that is why most of us always like to do it off camera I'm going to be using this uh, Urban Decay All Nighter Full Coverage foundation in the shade in the shade number 11 so i'm just going to apply a little bit on the back of my hand using the same powder to brush the front of my brow i'm taking the other side of my spoolie just to do that sorry i'm picking my nose that's a very bad attitude you know i always like to use this brush right here guys since i start using this foundation to clean my eyebrow my life is so easy so i am crazy to use this Re Technique brush to blend out the concealer, okay. Using the Urban Decay Primer Potion called Eden, which is the Re Technique brush. I'm just going to blend that out. I'm so excited, I don't know why. I use my Re Technique sponge just to make it smooth. So you can go ahead and set it, but I'm not going to be setting it. I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palettes. I'm so, so happy to use this palette. I'm going to be taking this shade called Eden. This one right here. 
I'm just going to use that as my that is going to be my transition color this one right here is a very pretty peachy color to switch up to a smaller brush I'm going to be taking this brush from Sephora collection brush I'm taking this shade called amber this one right here first I'm going to apply before I blend okay I'm just going to apply apply until I get to my until I get to my desire and I'm going to be taking this shade called uh, wood this wood this shade right here I'm just going to apply that as well on my inner corner on my outer corner the pressure of this brush is just so very very low it doesn't have that much pressure and it's very soft it's not so i don't know how to call it so ever looks very really soft definer i'm going to be taking this shade the one i use as my transition color which is called eden this one right here i'm just going to slightly blend the edges out because i don't want any ash line to be popping to the wings so guys i really want this look to be really very very bold i'm going to be taking my makeup factory palette shade i'm just going to apply that as well on my outer corner so i'm going to be taking my swiver and taking the shade called eden and blend it out just the bits, just the outer corner, just the inner corner because I don't want to be the inner corner to be smoky. I just want it to look very, very peachy. Uh, Urban Decay Primer Potion. <laughs> to be taking that shade called Wood. This one right here, I'm just going to blend out the edges of the cut crease out so you don't see any ash line. So I am crazy. Flat shading brush by um, Sephora Collection Brush Sets. Uh -huh. Oh my word. Oh my word. Like seriously guys, for the price of this palette it was 65 euros. For the price, it was the price. It was the product. So guys, it's not that I don't like the way it looks like. But you know, I, have, I love to be extra. I'm going to be taking my NYX uh, glitter glue. I'm just going to apply a little bit. I'm going to be taking this shade using my finger. Just to use that to apply that. It's called Cosmo. And I'm just going to very soft and dead because I want something dewy. So going to be taking the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I'm still going to set my face just a little bit with my uh, Laura Messi Translucent Face Powder. I'm going to be using the Hourglass foundation and this shade is called Sable and I'm going to be mixing it with uh, MAC Match Master foundation in number 8 It's doing that right now but it's okay, it's okay, it's not how it feels Oh my baby, got me staring at you so I am crazy. Won't you bend that back for me? We won't stop. Got your feet both fly. For highlight, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Bondi Sweet Concealer in the shade Chestnut. In the L'Oreal Messier Flawless Concealer. Um, to contour, guys, I'm going to be using my Estee Lauder New Dimension Contour, uh, contour Palette. Taking this powder, this um, brush by. A Sephora collection brush set. I'm taking this darker shade. Guys, I never, never in my entire world used to like a cream contour, but I've been loving it a couple of months now. Like, it's making my life so easier. My makeup is looking more flawless, you know. So for my 
my lower lash line, I'm going to be taking the shade called Amber, this shade right here, and I'm using my angle brush, my concealer brush to blend out. <laughs> So for blush guys, I'm going to be taking this blush by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm taking this brush by um, Sephora Collection Brush. I'm just going to do it like so. Like That's right. So I'm crazy. So I'm going to be removing the excess powder and I'm setting it once again with my MAC Mirror Skin Finish. Just one dab. For mascara, I'm going to be using this Nurse Nurse mascara. This is actually a tester. Use a setting powder because I see no reason why I should use a brow gel. My gel, my brow is just not playing alone anymore with a brow gel. So I always love to use setting powder. As you can see me doing and it's doing the job for me okay it's really doing the job keeping my brow in place revolution pro fix illuminating fixing spray I'm going to be taking this highlighter by Baker and it's called Opro and I'm taking my Bobbi Brown Eye Blender As you guys know I always like to use a smaller brush for my inner corner and my brow bone So for lip color, I'm going to be taking this Lancome called Lip Lover. This is how it looks like, a very dark peach color. I'm just going to apply that without lip liner. And for expression, I'm going to be applying this Catrice Lip Glance. spray my face once again with the uh, makeup revolution pro fix fixing spray Watch your bend that back for me. We won't stop. Got your feet on.